Super Full Moon, presented by Science at NASA. Mark your calendar. On March 19th, a full moon of rare size and beauty will rise in the east at sunset. It's a super perigee moon, the biggest in almost 20 years. The last full moon so big and close to Earth occurred in March of 1983, says Jeff Chester of the U.S. Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C. I'd say this is worth a look. Full moons vary in size because of the oval shape of the moon's orbit. It is an ellipse, with one side, perigee, about 50,000 kilometers closer to Earth than the other, apogee. Nearby perigee moons are about 14% bigger and 30% brighter than lesser moons that occur on the apogee side of the moon's orbit. The full moon of March 19th occurs less than one hour away from perigee, a near-perfect coincidence that happens only once every 18 years or so says Chester. A perigee full moon brings with it extra high perigean tides, but this is nothing to worry about. In most places, lunar gravity at perigee pulls tide waters only a few centimeters, that is an inch or so, higher than usual. Local geography can amplify the effect to about 15 centimeters or six inches. Not exactly a great flood. Indeed, contrary to some reports circulating the internet, perigee moons do not trigger natural disasters. The supermoon of March 1983, for instance, passed without incident, and an almost supermoon in December 2008 also proved harmless. Okay, the moon is 14% bigger than usual, but can you really tell the difference? It's tricky. There are no rulers floating in the sky to measure lunar diameters. Hanging high overhead with no reference points to provide a sense of scale, one full moon, even a supermoon, can seem much like any other. The best time to look is when the moon is near the horizon. That is when illusion mixes with reality to produce a truly stunning view. For reasons not fully understood by astronomers or psychologists, low-hanging moons look unnaturally large when they beam through trees, buildings, and other foreground objects. On March 19th, why not let the moon illusion amplify a supermoon that's extra big to begin with? The swollen orb rising in the east at sunset may seem so nearby you can almost reach out and touch it. Don't bother. Even a supermoon is still 356,000 kilometers away. That is, it turns out, a distance of rare beauty. For more information about moons, super and otherwise, visit science.nasa.gov.